Discogs short for discographies, is a website and crowdsourced database of information about audio recordings, including commercial releases, promotional releases, and bootleg or off-label releases. The Discogs servers, currently hosted under the domain name Discogs.com, are owned by Zinc Media, Inc., and are located in Portland, Oregon, U.S. While the site lists releases in all genres and on all formats, it is especially known as the largest online database of electronic music releases, and of releases on vinyl media. Discogs currently contains over 10 million releases, by over 5 million artists, across over 1 million labels, contributed from over 400,000 contributor user accounts, with these figures constantly growing as users continually add previously unlisted releases to the site over time. Topic history The Discogs.com domain name was registered on 30 August 2000, and Discogs itself was launched in November 2000 by programmer, DJ, and music fan Kevin Lewandowski originally as a database of electronic music. He was inspired by the success of community-built sites such as Slashdot, eBay, and Open Directory Project, and decided to use this model for a music discography database. The site's original goal was to build the most comprehensive database of electronic music, organized around the artists, labels, and releases available in that genre. In 2003 the Discogs system was completely rewritten, and in January 2004 it began to support other genres, starting with hip-hop. Since then, it has expanded to include rock and jazz in January 2005 and funk, soul, Latin, and reggae in October of the same year. In January 2006 blues and non-music e.g. comedy records, field recordings, interviews were added. Classical music started being supported in June 2007, and in October 2007 the final genres were turned on, adding support for the stage and screen, brass and military, children's, and folk, world, and country music genres, allowing capture of virtually every single type of audio recording that has ever been released. On 30 June 2004, Discogs published a report, which included information about the number of its contributors. This report claimed that Discogs had 15,788 contributors and 260,789 releases. On the 20th of July 2007, a new system for sellers was introduced on the site called Market Price History. It made information available to users who paid for a subscription, though 60 days information was free. Access to the past price items were sold for up to 12 months ago by previous sellers who had sold exactly the same release. At the same time, the $12 per year charge for advanced subscriptions was abolished, as it was felt that the extra features should be made available to all subscribers now that a better, some may say fairer, revenue stream had been found from sellers and purchasers. However, at the beginning of 2008, the market price history was also made free of charge for all users, still giving up to a 12-month view of historical sales data for any release. Milestones Discogs publishes information indicating the number of releases, labels, and artists presently in its database, along with its contributors. Other projects Discogs has so far created a further six online databases, for collating information on related topics. Topic. Vinyl Hub In mid-2014, a side project website called Vinyl Hub was started, in order for users to add record shops and stores from around the world, with information concerning location, contact details, what type of items they stocked, at all. Topic. Filmogs In late 2014, the company released a new beta website called Filmogs. Users can add their physical film collections on DVD, Blu-ray, Laserdisc, or any other type of physical film release to the database, and buy and sell film releases in the global marketplace. Gearogs <laughs> 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 Gearogs was launched as a beta in late 2014, at the same time as Filmogs. 
The site lets users add and track music equipment, including items such as synths, drum machines, sequencers, samplers, audio software, and any other electronic music making equipment. Bookogs At the start of 2015, the company began Bibliogs as another beta project. Users can submit information about their books, physical or electronic, different versions and editions, and also connect different credits writers, illustrators, translators, publishers, etc. to these books. 21,000 books were submitted by the end of 2016. The project was in beta phase until 15 August 2017 when it reached more than 31,000 book titles, and rebranded without clear explanation to bookogs.com, obviously because of legal issues with the old name Bibliogs, and removed beta state notice from the main page. The next day the Marketplace Beta feature was presented. Comicogs. Comicogs launched around the same time as Bookogs, as a means for comic collectors and enthusiasts to catalog their collections and create an archive of comic releases. Similar to Bookogs, users can contribute comics, manga, graphic novels, and strips to the database, along with information on credits, publishers, writers, etc. 18,000 comics were submitted by the start of 2018. The Comicogs Marketplace was launched on 23 August 2017, allowing users to buy and sell comics from across the world. Posterogs In September 2017, the company launched Posterogs. Posterogs was the only Discogs site to launch a database and marketplace simultaneously. The scope of posterogs was left broad at the time of launch, with the company opting to let the community define what type of posters, flyers, or similar, should be included in the database. As users have contributed items to the database, while non-music-related items are fully acceptable for inclusion, much of the primary focus seems to be music posters, such as gig, tour posters, album promo posters, and promotional flyers, which is in keeping with Discog's music theme, though there are also many film posters in the database. As with all other databases, users can save posters to their collection and want list, in addition to buying and selling in the marketplace. Topic API In mid-August 2007, Discog's data became publicly accessible via a RESTful, XML-based API and a license that allowed specially attributed use, but did not allow anyone to alter, transform, or build upon the data. The license has since been changed to a public domain one. Prior to the advent of this license and API, Discogs data was only accessible via the Discogs website's HTML interface and was intended to be viewed only using web browsers. The HTML interface remains the only authorized way to modify Discogs data. On 7 June 2011 version 2 of the API was released. Notable in this release was that a license key was no longer required, the default response was changed from XML to JSON, and the 5,000 queries per day limit was removed although a limit of 2,000 image lookups per day was introduced. On 1 November 2011 a major update to version 2 of the API was released. This new release dropped support for XML, data is always returned in JSON format, however the monthly data dumps of new data are only provided in XML format. On 1 February 2014 Discogs modified their API so that image requests will now require OAuth authorization, requiring each user of third-party applications to have a Discogs application ID, with image requests now limited to 1,000 per day. Additionally the premium API service was dropped. On 24 June 2014 Discogs deprecated their XML API in lieu of a JSON formatted API. Discogs also allows full XML downloads of its release, artist, and label data through the data.discogs.com subdomain. The recommendations API is not publicly available. Topic. Contribution system. The data in Discogs comes from submissions contributed by users who have registered accounts on the website. 
The system has gone through four major revisions. Topic version 1 V1 All incoming submissions were checked for formal and factual correctness by privileged users called moderators or mods for short who had been selected by site management Submissions and edits wouldn't become visible or searchable until they received a single positive vote from a mod An even smaller pool of super moderators called editors had the power to vote on proposed edits to artist and label data Version 2 V2. This version introduced the concept of submission limits, which prevented new users from submitting more than two to three releases for moderation. The number of possible submissions by a user increased on a logarithmic scale. The purpose of this was twofold, one, it helped keep the submission queue fairly small and manageable for moderators, and two, it allowed the new user to acclimatize themselves slowly with the many formatting rules and guidelines of submitting to Discogs. Releases required a number of votes to be accepted into the database, initially the number of votes required was from four different moderators but in time the amount was decreased to three and then two. Version 3 V3 3 V3 launched in August 2007. Submission limits were eliminated, allowing each user to submit an unlimited number of updates and new entries. New releases added to the database were explicitly marked as unmoderated with a top banner, and updates to existing items, such as releases, artists, or labels, were not shown or available to search engines or casual visitors until they were approved by the moderators. Topic version 4 V4. This system launched on 10 March 2008. New submissions and edits currently take effect immediately. Any time a new release is added or old release edited, that entry becomes flagged as needing votes initially, review, but this term caused confusion. A flagged entry is marked as a full yellow bar across a release in the list views and, like version 3, a banner on the submission itself, although, initially, this banner was omitted. Any item can be voted on at any time, even if it isn't flagged. Votes consist of a rating of the correctness and completeness of the full set of data for an item not just the most recent changes, as assessed by users who have been automatically determined, by an undisclosed algorithm, to be experienced and reliable enough to be allowed to cast votes. An item's average vote is displayed with the item's data. The ranking system has also changed in V4. In V3, rank points were only awarded to submitters when a submission was accepted by moderator votes. While in V4, rank points are now awarded immediately when a submission is made, regardless of the accuracy of the information and what votes it eventually receives, if any. Topic. Discogs Aware Metadata Software Topic. Tag Editors ASMT MP3 Tagger, Single Release Tagger Fubar 2000 Freeware Media Player and Music Management Software with a Plugin Helium Music Manager, Music Management Software with a Plugin Jayco's, Shareware OS X, Windows, Linux Spreadsheet-based Tag Editor KID3 Open Source Project, Tagger for all common music formats MP3 Tag, Freeware Tag Editor, Batch and Spreadsheet Interfaces OrangeKid Catalog, Music Management Software PuddleTag, a free and open source tag editor written for PYQT Tagacardia, Freeware, Automated MP3 Tagger Tagog, Linux Audio File Tagger Tagscanner, Freeware Tag Editor with Discogs, FreeDB, TrackType. Org Support The Godfather, Freeware Tag Editor The Tagger, MP3 and AAC Formats Tag Editor for OS X Tigatago, Spreadsheet Base Tag Editor Other MP3 FileNamer, online MP3 FileName Generator, based on Discogs release data Discogs Bar, Discogs Navigation and Search Control Toolbar for Firefox Album Art Downloader, Discogs Cover Art Downloads 
www discogs Perl module for interfacing with the discogs API XLD X lossless decoder a CD ripper and audio file converter for OS X music collector music database software by collectors com topic see also list of online music databases Global Electronic Music Marketplace <laughs>